All right, this video is for Varden. I have your quad finished up. Um, I believe this is the iFlight iX5 frame. I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty nice looking frame. iFlight makes some decent frames at a good price. I like their uh, the iX3 frame. It's pretty nice. This is the five inch. Um, so the parts on this, you got these Sunny Sky motors, um, 2207, 1800 kV. Sunny Sky makes some pretty good motors. Um, they used to make a lot more motors back in the day. I don't know why they kind of stopped, but these are pretty nice. You got the Diatone Mamba full size stack. You got the Rush um, VTX. Is that the tank? Rush tank? Yeah. Rush tank VTX. Um, you have the Predator 4 Mini and uh, Crossfire Nano and that's about it so as per your requests I made it to where you can use the uh, you can mount the battery on top or bottom so you wanted it preferred on bottom but to be able to use top mount too so I made the battery cable just long enough to where it reaches on the bottom and the top if you want it on top You'll have to uh, zip tie it to the top plate or something, but it'll work like that or something. Um, I got Crossfire running Smart Audio, so I'll show you that. Uh, it's already bound up to my radio, but if you need to get to the bind button on the receiver, it's right here. I'm touching it right now. Okay. Uh, oh, and then you also requested to have reverse prop, so you can see it's reverse prop. So, let me grab my radio. Oops. Um, here we go. All right. Oh, I forgot about that buzzer too. That buzzer is so damn loud. You definitely don't want to forget to turn it off because you'll be sitting here and all of a sudden you'll hear the loudest beeping you've ever heard and it'll scare you. Uh, I got that mounted on the bottom of the arm here. There was no other place to put it. That was the only place it would go. So, uh, To turn that off, you just hold down the button. There's a button right here. You hold it down for like three seconds after you unplug the battery and it'll turn it off. All right, so. There's your video. I don't think it was on that channel. There we go. All right. Cool. Let's do a little hover. Here we go. The motors are really smooth. Look how smooth it's flying, it's just sitting there. It's got tons of punch, and keep in mind this is a 6S quad, so, <laughs> and that was 4S. So it's going to be a crazy insane screamer on 6S. So yeah, when you're done when you're done flying, you just want to uh, hold down the button for a few seconds. I would say 5 seconds will do it. And there you go. It's good to go. Oh. I'll show you uh, smart audio real quick. 
So it depends on what module you have. If you have the micro module, um, you're gonna go into your Lewis script and your radio. And if you have the full size, I'll show you for the full size. God, that's so loud. For the full size, all you have to do is hold down the button and go down to VTX and click on it. There you go. Now you can access the VTX. And that's it. If you have the micro, then you're going to go into your menu, page, crossfire, crossfire Lua, go to Nano RX, and then there should be your VTX. Yep, there you go, right there. And there we go. I'll get it boxed up and uh, send you over some tracking. All right, thanks, man.